thanks for clicking on this video. Today is a chord solo lesson. We're gonna go over Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight. This is a chord solo that's in my chord solo book and someone from the UK, she wanted to remain anonymous, but she asked me to go over some ideas for embellishing and expanding upon the arrangement that's in the book. So we're gonna be doing that right now. Thanks for watching Ukulele Zen. That's the YouTube channel that's all about helping you to learn to play music in a way that's really fun and relaxing and very natural. Let's get into the solo. You know, the main, uh, uh, the meat and bones of this solo are F, da 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 da, C, da 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 da, B flat, da 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 da. On top of those three chords, this riff li lives. Now, the arrangement that I created for the chord solo book is a simplification of what I did, but it still is a fully fledged chord solo. And this is how it goes. Four. see how it's a mixture of block chords and single notes. What I did at the top of this video is something a little more advanced and let me get into that right now. I'm going to show you a technique from classical guitar. Thumb, index, middle, and ring are on one string each. Now this will sound a little different if you're playing a high G ukulele uh, but it still will work just fine. Instead of playing the open string for the first melody note, what I do is I slide into it while I pick both strings with these two fingers. So let me break that down a little more. This is like a string bend. I'm plucking both strings and sliding up the finger. Keep your hand very soft when you do this. It won't work very well if your hand is tight. Notice how I end with a hammer-on and then the thumb. That hammer-on, two strings at a time. It's the kind of sound you hear in a lot of Jimi Hendrix's playing. Again, I end with the thumb. And now I'm gonna roll. Now, when I say roll, I'm talking about, uh, it's almost like a strum, where I take the thumb, index, middle, ring, and I just roll across the strings. This in itself is an amazing technique and will teach you a lot about finger style. When you do this, keep the hands soft and just gracefully Stroke the strings. Don't do it too hard. It won't work it as well. Just very light. When you put this together with this, it has a nice soft harp-like sound. And you can also break up the roll. See, index, roll, index. Pretty neat, huh? Finally, for a more advanced version, what you can do is to work in what I call the bolero rhythm. And this is where you have a thumb, then pinch these two fingers, and then tap, and then pinch again. This is a cool thing to do just with one chord. I did this technique in the Redemption Song solo, and it's a lot like having a drummer with you. Now, it's almost impossible to keep this sound going the whole time, but if you can bring it back every once in a while, one, two, three, four, it's like having a drummer. Here it is 
again less syncopated. So now let's talk about some ideas for the bridge. Like I said before, the whole solo is in the book, but what you can do is add these embellishments on top of it. I'm gonna play them first and then explain later. One, two. What I'm doing there, just off the cuff, is I'm walking up from this C7 to this B flat. In the book, I show it just as this chord, so it's easy to get started. And uh, this is an interesting chord, because if you can get settled with the bar and hammer, you can have that interesting little rhythm and blues, Jimi Hendrix kind of sound. Next, I go to the C7 chord but I keep the third finger here for a more colorful sound. That's a C7 sus. Then I move to C7. A minor. F is the melody note on top of the D minor chord. And notice how I let that note ring out on top. Here's the bridge one more time. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you taking the time to hang. If you like this video, please watch it again and again because there's a lot of info in this and it may take a few viewings to really absorb it all. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Let me know what song you'd like me to cover next. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you soon.